Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, okay? I'm getting ready to bring you a message from the Twin Flame Ascension deck. This is, look, I was about to say, this is a moment in truth, okay? I'm probably attacking to my deck too, but I really feel so good about doing these messages because it's been teaching us some things that we need to know as we're going on our journey, right? And um, it's important because it's a lot of misinformation that's out here in regards to this twin flame journey. And truthfully, the journey is about your spiritual ascension. So this is what you're doing. You're going through certain levels and cycles of your life here that, that is helping you to elevate and rise up to a higher level of consciousness. And your person literally is there to teach you the spiritual lesson. So you are learning from them, okay? So the divine has all of this stuff orchestrated. It's divinely ordered. This is why you need to be able to see this from a different perspective. I know your person could be doing some stuff that is causing you to be highly triggered, but they, look, that's their role in your life, okay? How will you gain the experience if you didn't have one-on-one, -on -one personal, upfront, real-life lessons taking place, okay? So that's what's happening. So I need you to try to shift your perspective here. If you are truly on this journey to evolve, if you're only on this journey to get a person back, then this is the wrong journey for you. Bro. That's all I'm going to say. You might as well just go ahead and just say forget it, okay? Um, but yes, this is about your soul's evolution, okay? So every twin is on a different stage of their journey, Take what you need, leave what you don't need. You got to use the spirit of discernment. If you are triggered by anything, face your mirror, not my comment section. I am here to help you to evolve. We don't do that when we're in a low vibrational state, speaking negative things about people or about the situation, okay? Um, we're, we're light workers. We're called to help other people. So through these experiences, it's teaching us so that we can go out and do our work that we are called to do in our communities, okay? Um, so learn from this. We're here to teach about love, y'all, all right? Now, the card that came out, it says, enter your vortex. And I love it. I always talk about, yeah, I'm going to go in my, I'm, I'm going in my vortex, right? Because inside of your vortex is where all of your desires are. And you can literally bring your desires into fruition just by staying into alignment, right? Alignment is key on a twin flame journey. If you are off balance, then you and your twin is just not, you're not vibing. Things is just not working, okay? And you're not growing, all right? So it says aligning with infinite abundance. And I feel like here... Depending on your timeline, some of you have entered your vortex. You're in alignment is how I'm hearing it. Let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides, for helping me with this reading for my twin flames. Protect us as we go through these portals. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as a messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly. Yeah, being one with yourself. Thank you that my true guides are here with me. No imposters, please. Protect my throat chakra and my energy. All right, so you you it's about aligning with infinite abundance, becoming one with self. I feel like y'all, my collective that I'm talking to now, I feel like this is what you guys are doing. And trust. I feel like your masculines are definitely catching up. They are now coming to these points where they're having tower moments is how I'm hearing it. And these tower moments are showing them some truth, right? Because look, with the with the help of um, this partial eclipse in Scorpio, this is what's helping them to be able to see some actual truth. I mean, about everything, the karmic situations, their own karmic patterns and behaviors. And it's eye-opening. And um, I do hear that they are going through some type of rebirth or it's like a dark night, 404 on my timer, okay? Um... They're going through a transformation and the shit hurts like hell. It's going to hurt like that for all of us if we are not prepared for it, which I feel like Divine Feminine has been preparing for this because the last cycle we were just in, we literally was getting our asses whipped, right? <laughs> it was like one of the hardest lessons that we had to learn. And now with Divine Masculine, the hardest lesson that they have to learn for some is about patience, okay, on this journey. And um, they have to master the lessons. It's a part of the soul's evolution. And we had to do ours. Ours was what? Working with the abandonment issues. But however, um, 
it's now it's like moving into this state of trusting this trust of yourself trust of the divine trust of the universe things like that right trusting this process but i really i don't know i just feel really connected to the fact that you guys may already be there if not this is possible Reaching a state of oneness is what the twin flame journey is about. It's about your wholeness and being in alignment, a vibrational match. Even when you see all of the different colors, it kind of reminds me of the chakras, right? And it's like you have to be balanced there in order for you to begin to manifest, to align with the abundance that you seek. And this is what our spirit guides have been trying to teach us as we have been going along our journey here, okay? How to literally get ourselves into that empress, emperor energy to manifest what we desire for ourselves. And in return, it requires for us to do the work as far as light work, okay? Um, go out here and help other people to raise the vibration of the collective, things like that. Um, you know what? Let me read this. Um, entering your vortex. I may have to pause it, y'all, because... I do not see the book anyway, and I just opened up the deck, but sometimes my eyes play tricks on me. I've been at work all day. Yeah, so let me pause it real quick. What do we got? Six minutes and 10 seconds. All right, y'all. So enter your vortex. It says your reality is patiently waiting for you to align with your authentic truth as you connect with your true self, your mind, body, heart, and soul. This card is an indication that you are entering your vortex, your highest destiny. This level of soul mastery requires that you let go of resistance to change and keep your soul frequency in a positive state for long periods of time. This helps you co-create the life you live or love, right? So this means that you have to try to keep yourself in a positive state for a longer period of time. So it's like, Instead of where we were doing little practices of, okay, my mind says something negative, then do what I do. You know what? Nah, I'm good. I am enough. I am whole, right? I am abundant. But this is now you being able to do that consistently, okay? I'm going to say consistently, not even long periods of time. Like this, make this a 24 hour thing around this mug, right? Because we're trying to get into the vortex to get to where all of the abundance is, okay? Now, um, you may continue. You may continue to experience contrast and duality, which is, is, is going to be like that. It's always contrast. Um, it's always going to be two sides, right? Uh, regardless, it's just like if you are being pulled out of your, like I like to say, or Abraham Hicks says, if you are pulled out of your vortex, just get yourself back into alignment and get back into your vortex, right? Because we're not going to be positive all day long. That's just unrealistic, y'all. But however, it's like you know what to do when you're triggered. You know your extremes and you know how to bring yourself back into balance. So this is what, again, we have been being taught on our journey, right? How to bring ourselves back into equilibrium. Um, so we got it, right? We got all of the tools. We've been gaining these lessons and learning them so it's time to put it to action for real like I'm talking about for real for real okay but um staying in a harmonic balance is crucial when you're experiencing highs and lows learn to surf the fine line between surrendering and resisting don't be afraid to let your light shine keep showing up in areas that you feel guided towards it will be within this space that you reap the rewards that reflects your greatest potential what's in your vortex huh What's in your vortex? You know, what do you desire? Give me one card here in my spirit team before I close out. Too many stuff together. Oh, I'm on now. Page of Pentacles, right? Something that you've been trying to manifest, but you've been exploring it. You've probably been thinking about it, but wary if you're going to be capable of actually succeeding at it. So whatever that is, that's what you are going to be bringing into fruition, y'all. Okay, whatever this goal is, okay? Tell me what I need to see. You're being diligent, staying dedicated, and all of those things is what helps you to bring it in. So start to begin that process. Yeah, the moon card. I feel like you have been clouded by the illusions, but stay tuned for part two.